Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, now in today's video, I don't really know what it is exactly going to be because I have gotten a lot of stuff recently and I don't fully know what I am going to show off entirely because I finally did make it to five below, which I am super excited about. Um, also, I did go to Dollar Tree and um, unfortunately they did not have any movies um, but I did pick up quite a few little dollar figurine thingies um, so I don't know what all I'm going to show off in this video that I got from Five Below and if I'm going to show off the figurines in this video that I got from Dollar Tree um, so but I know I'm going to show off a few things that are not media related necessarily um so i got a few things already picked out that i'm going to show out show off but i don't know what else i'm going to show off exactly so and then of course i got plenty of movies to show off too um i got stuff from second and charles um dollar general big lots uh ralph's and I got two movies uh, from Five Below. They had just a little tiny circle, uh, what do you call it, um, cardboard bin thingy that was um, full of movies, but a lot of them were repeats, so there really wasn't much of a selection. Um, but again, my store just opened up here like a week and a half ago, give or take. And then um, when I went, like half of the store was already empty, um, maybe even more than half of the store. So I don't know if it's because it was picked through that bad or if they weren't fully stocked because I know a lot of the trucks here and everything have not been getting their full stock in and stuff. I don't know if that's um, necessarily due to COVID issues or just stocking issues or what exactly it is. But anyways, um, so there's a couple of things I'm going to show off, um, for sure. So the first thing, uh, from Five Below, I had to get this. It's a cute little pillow, but it says California is always a good idea. I am a Kelly girl, so I had to get this just for that. So, but this was five dollars. Um, I only got one thing, which I should have brought into my room. It's actually out in the living room to show off, but I will probably just do that in another video. Um, but yeah, so I got this. And then, what did I do with the damn box? Oh, I guess they're both right here. Okay. Um, I did find the phone stand, which this is the one that I am actually using right now. Um, so I am doing my setup differently, and so far the cats have kind of been moving around on the bed and stuff, and the phone has not knocked over, so yay! I know, right? <laughs> so I got this one. It, like I said, it was $5 for this little one. And then I also got this longer one, which is actually pretty cool because it goes pretty high. Uh, where? Right here. Here's the actual thing itself. The only problem is, is that when I put it between here and, you know, I film my phone long ways or whatever, is that where my volume button and stuff is on this thing is that it's like my phone is almost at the very end where I have to put it in the holder at so that's why I'm using the shorter one for right now but um so I just got to kind of play around with it and stuff and and this thing moves around like this and everything and it extends out even further so I mean for five dollars for this one too you know still that's awesome I just you know got to play with it more and play with my phone more and figure out how to make everything work right and stuff so 
but I got those. Those were, again, from Five Below as well. So, either which way, though, I'm fa I'm happy with this little stand. Um, it seems to be doing the job right, right now with the cats and stuff, so that's good. Um, and then these two little figures I did want to show off. I didn't get them, um... This time when I went to Dollar Tree, I actually got them maybe, I don't know, a month or a couple of weeks ago. But they've been already sitting on my entertainment center, so I forgot to show them off. Um, but I found Marie from Aristocats. So, of course, crazy cat lady me had to get that. And then I also found Dumbo. Which, of course, I had to get because Dumbo, Tim Burton, which I know this is, you know, like traditional Dumbo, which he didn't do, but still, you know, so I had to get that. And these were only a dollar, of course, so, but I wanted to show those off. But yeah, Dumbo's actually pretty hefty. He's pretty good size and everything with this big old long trunk and everything, too. So, but I thought those were too cute. And like I said, I kept meaning to show these ones off, but they've been sitting on my entertainment center and I kept forgetting. And then from Second and Charles, again, crazy cat lady that I am, I had to get this. It says, Binks is my spirit animal. See, there's misery on the bed right now and the phone is staying, standing up freaking miracle but this was ten dollars and I mean I know I should have gotten this right away because of Binks which I automatically thought of Hocus Pocus of course but just because of the way the cat looks I didn't think that this was from Hocus Pocus but it is actually it is a Disney licensed Hocus Pocus one but like I said it's just he doesn't look like Binks you know, I mean, he does look scarier, but, you know, that's why I didn't think. I just thought, you know, it was, like, generalized as just a black cat being called Binks. But, no, it is actually from Hocus Pocus. And then, one of the other awesome things I found at Second and Charles. I found my girl Harley. Oh, I was so happy. There's a lot of glare, sorry. I'm trying to... But yeah, she has her mallet, and then she has her little gun right here with the flag sticking out of it that says bang. And this one, unlike my other figure, has not been opened. It still has the seal and everything. And then the little card that's right here, that's what it looks like close up. But no, I do not have any plans on opening her or anything. But when I saw this, I just, I was in love. I had to grab her because she's, this is my favorite Harley right here. Is her classic and her um, jester outfit and everything. The bread and the black. I love it. And this is a McFarlane Toys. And it says right there too, Harley Quinn Classic. And this was $24.99 over at uh, Second and Charles. So, but super, super happy to have this. I love her so much. So, got that. And, um, oh. Since I showed off Harley, I'll show off this. I found this cool little uh, mobile wallet. You know, the ones that you stick on the back of your phone, but of Joker. This was at five below that I found this. I think this was like three something. And then it, this little middle part right here, it curls up like this. And then you just set it down and then it acts like a stand too so that's kind of cool so I'm just not sure if I want to use this or not because I also got I don't know if it's in this bag or not 
Got a whole couple of bags full of crap from... Well, not crap, you know what I mean, though. Of stuff, goodies. I don't know if it's in this bag, I don't think it is. But just um, from the dollar store, they have one of those phone grip things. Which, honestly, I don't know if it's because I'm blonde or what, but I never understood what the hell those foam grips were actually for. Um, but now, I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just got one that just has the little ring in it, not one of the ones that has the, the little pop part, if anybody knows what the hell I'm talking about, because I don't know how to explain things right. Um, but, yeah, that's, I don't see it in this bag. But, um, since I already have the bag pulled up, go ahead and show off some of the other little figures I got right quick. I'll try to make it fast so I can actually get some movies in here. Uh, these ones I found at Dollar General. I found Sully and then Mike Kwiatkowski, and these were only a dollar, actually, at Dollar General, which is the reason why I got them. But Monsters, Inc. is one of my favorite, favorite Disney Pixar movies. So I had to get these. And then just, again, since I'm in the bag, why not? At Dollar General, I, or I mean at Dollar Tree, I found these that are new because I haven't seen them until now. But they had all four, I'll just do two at a time, of the Turtles. And I do actually love the Ninja Turtles, the cartoon series, and the... I haven't seen the original four or three movies in such a long time, so I honestly can't say about those. But the um, new Bruckheimer, the two movies, I love those too. So the cartoon series. Um, <laughs> Hug. Can I get the camera, baby? Or you want to be in the whole thing? Yeah, I know. I got toys. I got toys. Um, but there are those two. And then here are the other two. Mikey is actually my favorite. Because he is just so... Just goofy and... And yeah. He probably fits more my personality. Because he doesn't know what the hell's going on a lot of the time like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's like the blonde turtle in a way. <laughs> Jello. So, and then the other last of the figures that I got, or no, not the last, I'm sorry. Let me show you these ones first, and then I'll show those ones. Um, it's like in here, well, let me get into the bag. Where the hell is the other one? Maybe they're in the other bag. I don't know. Maybe I only find these two guys right now. But these are new, too. They had um, Avenger ones. Um, I got this one, and I got a Spider-Man one, but I don't see it in this bag, so it might be in the other bag. Um, but they also had Iron Man and Captain America. And then I got my Joker one that I showed off before. So here's the black Batman one. I should have grabbed this one as soon as I grabbed the Joker one. Because, you know, even though this isn't, this is a Justice League Batman or whatever. But Batman, Tim Burton again. You know, plus I love Batman movies too. You know, the DC animated ones. And yes, of course, all the regular uh, live action Batman ones too. I have all of them I believe um, up to date not all the animated ones yet I still need a few of the DC animated universe ones so but I got that one and then I got these I asked Bryce if he oh there's the spider-man one they're just like little mini busts so I thought that was very interesting and as I have said before um, well, just in one of my videos, if anybody can remember that Spider-Man holds a special place in my heart, because it was actually, um, my first date that I ever went on was to see Spider-Man in movie theaters, so, 
That's why I got this. And I just thought the Hulk one was cute. I might get the other two just, you know, for the hell of it. And because they're only a dollar. Just because I really do like the Marvel movies too. So. Hi, Miserably. Everybody's making an appearance right now. And the phone is not getting knocked over. It's a miracle. I don't know where the other dude went. He might be in the other bag. I don't know. This was the phone grip that I was talking about, though, that has the ring in it. Just so that way you don't listen to my explanation. That probably made no sense. But I got, I asked Bryce if he wanted any of these for his kids, and he said um, he'd pass. But I got them just in case maybe anybody else may have wanted them, because I don't know if these might be rare or not at all dollar tree locations, but they're little Simpson, or Simpson, wow, uh, Sesame Street, um, figures, you got the Cookie Monster guy, um, I forgot what he said this dude's name was, I think I said Groucho, but that's not what he said when I said Groucho, he said something else, I don't remember, and then I have no idea who this is. And then I also got Elmo, the red guy, but he must be in the other bag for sure because he's, he's not in this bag. So, um, but yeah, the phone's going to die, so let me switch files so that way we can go ahead and get into the movies for the second part of this video. So, sorry this was all, like, mostly non-movie related stuff, um, but yeah, but. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I did find the Elmo one, just to show you guys what it looks like. So, yeah. So if anybody needs these, um, they did have a whole box, and I'm sure they're probably at all mine. Probably at all yours, too, but just in case, yeah, just let me know. Okay, now on to the movies. The wonderful movies! Alright, these are the ones that I found today over at um, one of my Dollar Generals. Um, I found Getting Grace. This is probably a religion based one. I don't think it says that it's dove approved or anything though, so. And I don't think... Yeah, I don't actually recognize any of the names in here or anything, so, but a dollar, figured I'd check it out. And then this one has Brandon Roth in it, Superman, or, um, oh, I don't know his name, from Arrow, the new superhero guy he's playing. I can't remember what his name is. I need to watch Arrow again. I need to get the rest of Arrow too now that it's over. But I found this one too. I think this one is um, Lost in the Pacific. So I've never even heard of this one. So, but it had Brandon Roth in it. And again, it was just a dollar over a dollar general. So check it out. And then I found this cute animated one called Super Bear. No me and my animated. When I am too big for you to hold, I will hold you instead. And... cannot read because I got two films from this company with this little symbol on it. Let me find the other one right quick. It is right here. Uh, this one is Valley of the of the Lanterns. Yeah. It's another animated one. And this one says it's the director's cut. 
but it has that same little symbol right there. It says, a 3D animated feature film by a small team with big hearts, I'm guessing, on the back. The sticker is kind of covering it, so, but I imagine that's what it says. So, I'm pretty sure this is, um, yeah, just what it says, a small, smaller known company, same ones who did the Super Bear one, but... Those are just going to be like how the ones are that we um, all found at Dollar Tree, like from Viva, I'm pretty sure. So, but definitely looking forward to checking those out. And then I found this three-pack um, Leading Ladies. It has The Other Woman, Love, Peace, and Misunderstanding, and Flypaper. Which I think actually flypaper I found not that long ago at a pawn shop. Um, but I can't remember if the disc was like in perfect condition or not. But I've been wanting to see um, the other woman one with Natalie Portman for a while. And I'm just going to mix in Blu-rays with uh, DVDs and everything, so. And then I found Dolphin Tale 2, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. I don't have the first one, so, yeah, I need to find that one now. And it does have a slipcover with it, but they're both encased, or they're both wrapped in plastic, so. But this one has uh, Ashley Judd, Chris Christopherson, and Morgan Freeman, so. And it says, Winter's Amazing True Story Now Has Hope. So, I guess this is based on a true story. Or maybe it's just the first one and this one's extended. I don't know exactly, so. But, I love animal movies. And I can't remember if I already got this one or not, because I've seen this one there a couple of times. But, you know, again, I saw it just for a dollar, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, Dead Man Rising, uh, his faith will be tested. So if I do, if this is a repeat, I'll do this probably in a giveaway. And then same thing with this one, and I know Bryce also just picked this one up, but I think he got it on Blu-ray um, vinyl. I do not know if I already got this one or not, but this is a Shout Factory, which I didn't remember that part. Um, but this one has a J... That should be him, right? J Bear Shell. It does not say on the back here. I'm pretty sure that's him, though, on the cover, but I don't see his name up here. Maybe that's not him. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm questioning myself. I thought that was him, but maybe that's not, because his name's not there. I don't see any of the cast information actually on the back like you usually do, so I don't know. I'll have to see. But either which way, it was a dollar, so yeah. And then this one is an upgrade for me, but I love this movie, of course. Um, Alexander uh, Skarsgård and Margot Robbie is in this one, uh, The Legend of Tarzan. And again, it does have the slip case, but it's in plastic right now. So, so I got that one. And then the last one that I got um, from Dollar General today is, um, and again, this possibly might be an upgrade, or I mean, not an upgrade, but a repeat, but I can't remember for sure or not, because it may be that I just saw it there and passed on it, um, is the Unlikely Good Samaritan. But again, it was only a dollar, so... So, 
those are all my pickups from today. And then right quick, um, the two movies that I have watched so far uh, since my last video, and these are also new pickups. Oh, actually, this is another one that I picked up today at Dollar General, and I've watched it already. It's called The Clinic. And this one was actually a pretty good movie. I liked it. It wasn't quite what I expected as far as, you know, I thought it was going to be, I guess, a little bit more kind of gruesome, but it was more kind of psychological, maybe in a way. Um, so, but I still thought it was a good movie. And I haven't posted these to my Instagram yet, but I will probably as soon as I'm done or while I'm uploading the video, this video and everything, so. And then the other one, and I got this one from Ralph's, is A Killer Next Door. This is based on the John List story. He was a, um, not a serial killer, but he was just a, he was a murderer. He killed his family. And it's based on him, so. Um, but yeah, this is a very good movie. I liked it. It was different than what I thought because I thought it was going to be about more about the murders than, um, but it takes place more after the murders from, it's just, I don't want to give anything too much away than I already have, but yeah, it's just, you know, look up John List if you want and you can there's a bunch of documentaries and information out there about about him and in the story and everything like that. So, but it's a very disturbing story. I will tell you that. So, but those are the two that I have watched since my last video. So I am still trying, guys. I know I haven't been doing as good as I wanted, but I'm trying. And then, um, that one. Okay, and then I think all of these ones are going to be, oh, I just moved the phone. Uh, these ones are going to be from Big Lots, and some of these are upgrades because they were on clearance, and then some are just new so i found um up in the air on blu-ray for 75 cents this one i believe is an upgrade because i believe i do have this on dvd and i have not watched it actually yet so i know nothing about it yet and then um the number station which is an upgrade for me, and this is a really good movie. I like this movie a lot, uh, but it was a dollar fifty, so upgraded it. This one has John Cusack and Mullen Ackerman. I'm gonna say is how you say her name. I think I've only watched this movie once though, so I do definitely need to check it out again. Because I don't remember a lot about it. Except for that it was really good. And then this is another one that was an upgrade. And it was only $0.75. Cents, so, But Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for The Gunman with Sean Penn. And as far as I remember this was a really good movie too. But again I only watched it once. And it was a while back. So I don't really remember much about it. And then this one I do not have, so this is a first buy. Uh, I am Bruce Lee. As far as I know, this is a documentary. I think this one, yeah, this one's a Shout Factory release. 
and my phone's about to die or run out of space again so let me transfer files over again and I will be back guys okay guys I'm back okay so continuing on uh, next thing I got is 30 Rock Season 3. Uh, this was on clearance for $2.50. I've never actually seen a single episode of this show. But I do like Alec Baldwin and Tina Fey. And, oh, I didn't know Tracy Morgan was in this. And I know this guy from a lot of movies. I don't know his actual name, but he's pretty funny too. And... Oh, what other names do I know? I don't know the names. But yeah. So, I got that. And then I found the yellow handkerchief. Uh, with William Hurt, Maria Bellio, Kristen Stewart, and Eddie Redmayne don't know who he is, but got it mostly for Kristen Stewart. I've always loved her. Which it says this movie is from 2008, but I've never actually even heard of this movie, so. But yeah. And then I got this double feature of How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days and No Strings Attached. Which I have both of these movies, so this is an upgrade. And then these were all clearance ones. I think the only one that I actually have, as far as I know, is Star Trek Nemesis. But this was marked down to 250 And then I found um, Star Trek. I think this is five because it has the B on it, but the Final Frontier. And I've never actually seen any of the original Star Trek movies. I've only seen the three remakes from J.J. Abrams, which I absolutely love, of course. And then, oh, I guess this is Star Trek six because it has a B and then an I. Um, the Undiscovered Country. And both this one and the Final Frontier 250 for all of these ones. And then um, this one is Blacklist, uh, the complete second season, which this one I do not have, but this one was 250 on clearance also. I am not a hundred percent sure if I have the first season or not or if I gave that to Joe's mom. Um, I'll have to check and see. If not, if I gave it to her then I'll have to um, get the first season for myself. And then the last two that I got from Big Lots, I got both are upgrades because I do have them on DVD, but I also got them because they are in white cases, which I just thought was awesome. But I do love both of these movies. I actually have to watch this one again because I've only seen it, I think, once, which is Fatal Attraction. But just, you know, I've never had a white case and I just, I, I don't know why I was fascinated with that. So, yeah, I had to grab both of these titles, but Fatal Attraction. And then this one I also really love. Um, I've seen this one quite a few times, actually, and that is The Shallows with Blake Lively. And she did an awesome job in this movie. This is one of my favorite shark movies. Which a lot of the shark movies are kind of my favorite shark movies. I love shark movies. So, and again, white case. I don't know why that is so 
interesting to me, but it, it just, it was, so I had to grab those two. Those were the only two that I saw that were like that, so. Okay, and then now coming up, we're going to have more Second in Charles stuff. So, and some of this stuff is kind of mixed in, I think, with, um, what do you call it, Ralph's. I think there might be only one Ralph's title that's mixed in here, but I found this one, uh, Miami Rhapsody, uh, that is brand new factory seal, and this one is from, uh, Second and Charles, but I've never even heard of this movie, but it has Sarah Jessica Parker, Antonia Banderas, and Mia Farrow in it, and this one was only, uh, $2.95. And for Blu-ray, so. And it says a hilarious comedy. And, uh, stickers. This one's a Mill Creek movie. So, probably not going to be... I don't know if there will be a digital or not in here. Probably not. But, I mean, you never know. Definitely, I don't think there's a DVD in here with it. But, yeah. So, I got that one. And then, um, also from Second and Charles, I found Saving Mr. Wu. And this one does have, you know, the slip, of course. And this one is also um, a Wellgo USA release. So this one does have the language in Mandarin, but has um, English subtitles. Unlike the other Wellgo USA one that I got in my last video. Um, so, but this is a kidnapping story with dramatic heft. So, interesting. I've never heard of that one either, so. A lot of these ones, actually, I have not heard of. Um, and then I found Shadow of the Sword. And... I do not know anybody from this movie. And then I found Memorized, which has Jodie Foster and John Lithengal in it, which is the reason why I got it. A Love Triangle of Passion and Murder. And then I found One Night in Bangkok. Six hours, five hits, who will survive? And it has um, Mark Dukakis and Kane Kasugi, I don't know. But Mark Dukakis, if I am remembering correctly and all, that he was in uh, John Wick 3, which is why I got it. And I believe, let me actually, um, yeah, English, it says, it is in English. And this is from 2020, so this is, but this is only $3.95, so. But I really liked him, uh, the fight scene between him and uh, Keanu Reeves at the end. See, look at that. Lydia jumped and the phone didn't drop. I'm still just so excited about that. So, so excited about that. Freaking $5 and don't have to deal with freaking phone dropping. And then I found Orphaned Courage. And this one does have um, the Dove Approved sign on it, or seal. Yeah, I know, huh, Hug? We love our Dove Approved. Huh. 
Um, but I can't tell if this has, because it's, it's really tiny. Yeah, the hug. It's really tiny if it has that 14 plus like we've seen on a couple of the movies that I've gotten with the dub seal or not. Because this does look like it might be a little bit violent because of the fighting and stuff. So, I don't know. Um... Wait, it says run time on this is only 28 minutes? What the hell? So this isn't even... I don't know if that's a misprint or if this just is not a full length fucking movie. Because that's not worth fucking 250 to me. I don't like that shit. So, anyways, I'll have to look into that because, yeah. Anyways, okay. And then I found this um, Tall Hot Blonde. Or at least that's, you know, that's the username. But this is based on a true story. I've seen this one, like, on eBay and stuff. I think this is, like, kind of like a Lifetime movie, if not an actual Lifetime movie. But, um, I don't know, like, the actual story or anything, because I haven't seen it or read anything about it, other than, like I said, I've seen the title and stuff before. Um, but yeah, it says it's based on, um, a true story. So, got that one. And then I found Pressure, which this one has, uh, Kerr Smith and Lachlan Monroe. And Angela Featherstone. I don't know who Angela is, but I know the other two actors. Trapped, Hunted, Innocent. I keep trying to think of where Christmas which show it is that I used to watch that he is from. Um, I don't know, is it Dawson's Creek or, um, I don't, I'm not sure. And then this one is Factory Sealed, but this one has David Schrimmer in it. Also has, um, uh, Janan Gruffalo or something, and then, uh, Judah, uh, Friedlander, I think, and, um, I don't know, does it say Dwayne Hopewood? Is that how you say the name of this movie? I don't know. But I got it because of Dwayne, or I mean, <laughs> Dwayne, because of David Schwimmer. I absolutely love Friends. So. I know he hasn't been in too many movies or anything. So, when I saw that he was in this, I was like, okay, I want to check this out. So, that one. And then this one is another factory sealed one. And it is in a snapper case. Um, running on empty wanted by the FBI and this one has River Phoenix in it but I've never heard of this movie so I have no idea anything about it and then this is the one that I think is the only one that I'm going to show right now because this will probably be the last of the movies that I show for this video, I'll show the rest off in a separate video um, that I got from Ralph's, but I'll show it off right now. Um, I got Crowley, brand new factory sealed. And interesting thing about this movie, especially when I showed Joe that he didn't know this, but this is actually um, in this provocative supernatural thriller 
co-written by legendary Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson. Because Joe is a huge, huge, huge Iron Maiden fan. So I'm surprised that he didn't know this. Um, but yeah. So. But I've heard of the name Crowley before. And, you know, this was in the horse section and it looked interesting. And when I was scanning the back when I was, um, when I got home and I saw that. I was like, holy shit, that is crazy. I never knew that he had anything to do with, you know, a movie or anything. And so when Joe came over and I showed him this, you know, I thought he was going to freak out over it, but he had no idea about it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got that one. That one was from Rouse. And then these aren't blocking the camera and then I was super fucking happy to find this one because uh, I loved the first one but I found it is brand new factory sealed and it has the slip cover happy death day to you I got this over at a uh, second and Charles and it was only $5.95 brand new I would expect this especially at second and Charles being brand new to be way more than that so that made me very happy and I had to grab it. And I really did like the first one. It was just, yeah. It was a good one. That. And then someone I was just watching in a video. Um, I think it was Absolute Sublime. Mm, excuse me. One, I think it was. Um, who had mentioned this film and I have never seen it and didn't I don't believe at least that I own it but it's Fargo and they had it there so I went ahead and grabbed it a homespun murder story so, and I'm actually kind of surprised that I have not seen this one before. So, um, but, um, Francis McDormand, William H. Macy, Steve Buscemi, yeah, it's because of Peter Stormare. I think that's why the reason why I wanted to get it is because I really like Peter Stormare, but Stephen Buscemi and William H. Macy in it too. Yeah, definitely love them too. And then finally, 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 I can see Dolores Claiborne. Joe has been telling me about this movie because I love Misery so much. And he said, if you love Misery, you should watch this one because, you know, it's Stephen King and Kathy Bates again. Um, so yeah, I finally found or own now and can watch uh, Dolores Claiborne. So I'm very excited and it's in a nice snapper. So very excited to have this one. And then the last one for this video is going to be Dead Noon. Never heard of it, but it does have Kane Hodder in it. So I hope it's not just, you know, putting his name on it to give it, you know, clout or whatever. I hope he's in it for a little bit longer, but my phone is about to run out of space again, so I gotta hurry up and say goodbye. So, alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you have not entered the contest, please enter. I will be doing the announcement for who the winner is, um, either tomorrow or on Monday. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and stay safe out there, and happy hunting. Bye guys, see you soon.